Hi, I'm Gabby, an Ambassador Girl Scout, and for my Gold Award project, my lovely team of friends and family helped me construct a soda bottle greenhouse for an elementary school. And yes, it is a greenhouse made entirely of two liter soda bottles. I made this video to explain the process and how to make a soda bottle greenhouse and how it benefits kids through hands-on experiences. I hope this project inspires you to create one of your own, and it serves a purpose in recycling and reusing plastic to better the environment and watch things grow. Enjoy! Benefits resulting from constructing a soda bottle greenhouse. Well, for starters, you can grow plants in the winter, spring, summer, and fall. The bottles can be easily replaced, but I will go into more detail further in the video. And also, through hands-on activities and interactions with plants in the greenhouse, students have the ability to learn about the life cycle of a plant and will develop critical thinking and social skills. Before starting any project, you have to make sure you have the correct equipment. You will need lots and lots of soda bottles. I cannot stress that enough. Also, PVC pipes, a PVC pipe cutter, door hinges, nails, screws, lumber, and special scissors that are sturdy enough to cut plastic. Please note though that measurements of equipment vary on the size of the greenhouse being made. Alrighty, now how to build a soda bottle greenhouse. Step one is to collect the bottles. I'm going to give a special shout out to the Pepsi company who donated the majority of the soda bottles, which made the process in collecting much faster than I expected. I really appreciate it, thank you. And honestly, I cannot recall how many bottles I used to make the greenhouse, but it was definitely over 800, so I hope you have a lot of space to store them in. Alright, step two is to clean the soda bottles with bleach and water, if they are sticky, and scrape off any excess plastic left on the bottle. I found that soaking the bottle for a few minutes helps the plastic come off the bottle easier. Step three is to cut the bo bottoms of the two liter bottles. The rim of the bottom of the bottle where the wrapper ends is where the cut is made so that the middle and top of the bottle is all that is left. Please have adult supervision if a young child is performing this action for sharp objects are involved. Step 4 is constructing the side frames of the greenhouse. The frame is made of wood and nails and there is a door attached to one of the sides, so don't forget to leave room. Being as precise as possible with measurements is the key to having a level greenhouse. The sides will form the shape of a cube when screwed together. Adult supervision and assistance is highly recommended when using power tools and heavy equipment. Step 5 is to measure and cut the PVC pipe. You cut the height measurement of the side frame vertically and then mark a line about 2 inches from both ends of the cut PVC pipe to indicate where the soda bottle nozzle stops when stacking later. Step 6 is stacking the cut bottles on top of each other on the PVC pipe. When you stack them, the cut circle will lay a little tightly around the top of the bottle beneath it. After stacking on the PVC pipe is complete, the last bottle needs to be put in the opposite direction of the initial stack so that the last nozzle is on the ending line on the PVC pipe. Step 7 is to screw the bottled pipes onto the frame. Adult supervision is advised. The stacked bottles allow some air to pass through, but most importantly, creates the heat needed for growing plants. As the sun hits the plastic, air particles, or atoms, bounce off the sides of the compacted plastic bottles, formulating heat to support the plants within the greenhouse. Step 8 is to screw the small bottled pipes onto the frame of the roof. What is neat about this greenhouse is that any single rod of PVC pipe with the bottles can be easily screwed off. This allows any damaged bottle to be replaced without taking the whole project apart and furthers the use of the greenhouse. Step 9 is within the final production of the greenhouse. You screw all of the completed frames with soda bottles on it together. And voila, you have a soda bottle greenhouse. I hope you give it a try. I had lots of fun and you will too. I would like to give thanks to all of my supporters, advisors, and donors from Pepsi, CHKD, Hospital, friends and family, and the staff of Konakaw Family Dentistry. Without your continued support for this project, it would have seemed impossible. 
Thanks again, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.